That had to hurt. Oh, snap! Yo, 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 my name is Robert Cheney, The Source, and welcome back to another The Source React series featuring anime. And if you did not know, I am a music producer, but I also do anime reaction content. So for today, we're going to hop back into One Piece. I'm very, very excited about that. Um... We, I think we all remember where we left off last time, or maybe if you're watching this for the first time, I just watched episode 706, and a lot happened with uh, Law's backstory, so that was very, very, very um, emotional, but very cool. So that's where we left off, pretty much. Um, Corazon died, and um, we're learning a little bit more about Law's backstory moving forward, so... Before we begin, of course, if you are looking for music production content, I post beats every Thursday on YouTube, so definitely check that out. Uh, these beats will be available for you to stream, obviously, but uh, if you're looking to lease or purchase or buy beats, you can go to my website, www.imdesource.com. Those beats are available for any artist, musician, or any content creator who wants to use my music for their work. So definitely go to that website, check it out. I make hip hop beats, R&B beats, pop beats. I make different beats for different styles. And um, of course, also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, when you subscribe, hit that notification bell as well so you know when I drop a video every week. I drop One Piece reactions every Friday, Hunter x Hunter reactions every Saturday, and eventually I'm also going to be putting up my podcast episodes here on YouTube as well every Sunday. And then on top of that, I also have other cool music production content available for you guys that most likely I will kind of be putting out randomly you know beat tutorial videos how I made some of my beats and just other cool music production stuff so that'll also be coming along so a lot of cool stuff going on all the information will be in the description below um what else do we have here oh yeah of course we also have uh the patreon page and I want to give a huge shout out to all of those who have joined the Patreon so far, I am very appreciative of you guys taking your time to go and check that out on the Patreon page. I'll put the link in the description, but that's where you're going to get full episode reactions on Patreon. You're also going to get exclusive access to beat previews that you will not see anywhere else. I'm going to be dropping exclusive discounts and pricing on beats. You're going to hear new music before I put them out on streaming. We're going to have a lot of cool stuff going on. I have my Discord that's been set up as well. So if you guys want to get into the community, we could talk about anime. We could talk about games. We could talk about music. That's Everything's going to be really um, in the Patreon page. So that's going to be a very, very cool time. As well as my podcast, exclusive access to the podcast on Patreon first before it goes on the podcast platforms. So that's a lot of information to take in, but don't worry, all the information will be in the description below, so definitely check that out. So all right, let me stop talking. We're gonna get back into One Piece. And one more thing, apologize, but um, I'm changing up the format. So if you're watching this for the first time, it may not matter, but for those of you guys who been, may have been watching the previous reactions, um, I'm actually going to be doing a two episode format. The reason why I'm doing that is because of just the fact that my internet isn't the greatest when it comes to upload speeds. So it just makes life easier for me to just chop up episodes up in twos, keeps the videos a little bit shorter, keeps the data a little bit shorter. I, um, I didn't want to over, over compress the videos to suffer on too much on the quality, of course. So I've just figured that if I shorten the videos, it'll be a lot easier. It'll be easier for me to actually also put out the videos out to you guys a little bit faster. So that's kind of my goal. 
So with that being said, I will be dropping two um, batches of episodes. I did say One Piece Friday, Hunter Saturday, but most likely it's actually going to be One Piece and Hunter um, on one day and then Hunter and One Piece and Hunter as well on the second day. So we will see how that goes. I know YouTube's a little weird when it comes to uploading two videos, but we will see how that goes. So with that being said, we're only going to do two episodes for this reaction. So let's get back into One Piece episode 707. Let's do this. Let's do this. And this is Big Daddy No More. I'm just here to watch. Oh, yeah, that's and right. A couple times. That's right. The guy in the background. Like he said, his name is Big Daddy No More. He watches this with me. He watches it on the TV over there. You can't see him because he's actually sitting right next to me over here. Mm -hmm. So don't worry about it. And uh, we should be good. <laughs> I wonder, are they going to go back into the flashback or is the flashback actually over now? I guess we'll find out in a couple seconds. Okay, Law. When did the rainbow thing happen? Oh man, that was rough. You know, Doflamingo, I've said this already. We already know how I feel about Doflamingo and uh, definitely has to be one of the most hated characters. I said that in the previous uh, reaction. He is quite the villain, I must say. And that's right, Luffy's fighting um, the, uh, the string version of... Uh, Doffy or Dolphy or however you want to say it <laughs> and it was just like you were saying before um he's con like Doflamingo's really powerful because he's fighting Law his string version is fighting Luffy and he's controlling Bellamy at the same time crazy yes please explain this more I've been wanting to know about this I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, this whole will of D thing is finally starting to come to a little bit more to fruition here. I just don't. It's still trying to figure out what this all means. Like Oda's very funny with the way he keeps like bringing up the will of D without really explaining too much. <laughs> they keep bringing it up, and they're just like the will of D. It does this. It does that, and then that's it. <laughs> Senor Pink, to be exact. So that is the Stone Stone Fruit, basically, right? Damn. Basically, the entire family still up and running. I don't think anybody's been defeated yet, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. And the rupture human, yep. Damn, you know what this seems like? This seems like they're about to like, it's like they're int reintroducing them for like another big fight. <laughs> you know what? Senor Pink's Devil Fruit is actually pretty interesting to me too. If you all are wondering, I have a cat. He was um on my bed when I was watching the Hunter reactions. <laughs> and now I'm watching One Piece and uh, now there's a cat here. <laughs> Ba -da -da -ba 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 -bum. Boom. Mmm. <laughs> nice one. Luffy definitely got stronger. That training, once again, I'm going to say it again, it did him justice. That was needed for him to really have a chance in the new world. Yo, I can't even imagine if, like, Luffy before um, the time skip was tr would try to fight him. Not even a chance. Wow, that's amazing. That's the best time skip I've seen in an anime, in my personal opinion. We'll talk about that after this episode, too. It's funny, Kiros is like a, supposed to be a super strong warrior, but even he's struggling a little bit, you know what I mean? That's how you know the executives are, like, the, the real deal. Wow, what a move. Oh, because he could turn everything into, like, um, flags, right? And here comes Bartolomeo with the barrier, barrier fruit. <laughs> yeah, where Bartolomeo actually comes in the clutch in this situation. And I've said this before, I think Robin's very underrated. 
She has a very useful devil fruit. Like, come on. That's cool. <laughs> I was like, yep, here comes this fanboy moment. <laughs> Cavendish. Or as Luffy would call him, cabbage. <laughs> oh my god. Don't tell me. Is he is he warming up with that one punch thing? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh man. There's so many battles going on. It's like it keeps going back and forth. It's really crazy right now, man. It's like a mini version of the Marine, Ford, and Alabasta arcs. If you, well, I wouldn't even say that. This arc is basically like Alabasta in that sense. Where there's just so many people going through so many different things right now on, on this one island. My cat's a little antsy today, guys. I don't know if you keep hearing him in the background here. <laughs> I completely forgot about Sabo. Wow. I mean, I didn't forget about him, but it's like, he's also part of this. I'm Fujirora. Where is he right now? Man, I love the fact that Sabo has the, uh, the flare flare fruit now. And this is one of the coolest moments, too, for me. The fact that that girl from the Fisherman Island arc ended up joining the Revolutionary Army. That's the coolest. That's one of the coolest little, like, detail things, I think, um, in this anime so far. That was dope. Kudos for not for, uh, letting her just pass by. Yep. Whoa. Hey, my favorite song in the background, too. Tough. This is a moment here, too. I love how they're giving Law his moment to shine, too. Wow. That was nice. That was pretty cool. Um, oh, nice. Look at that. That one piece lore for y'all. Uh, yeah, that was episode 707 of One Piece. And um, that was very, very, very cool. That was a very cool episode. Um, re really highlighting just all the battles that are going on, man. And I mentioned this in the previous episodes already. The, the, there's so many battles like it's just all over the place and um you know it was cool that they're basically zooming into all the different kind of battles and what's been going on and um i love the fact that uh law is getting his moment to shine i think that's really what this episode was about it was about you know understanding that even though luffy wants to take down doflamingo this is more about law's connection with doflamingo than anything else uh, particularly for this arc. So I thought that was very, very dope. And um, the the only uh, the only other thing I really wanted to highlight was um, the Will of D. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of glad that they're starting to bring it up a little bit more and more. But it's still extremely vague. So I really don't know anything more about it. The only thing that we know is that they have... A destiny and that destiny is to take down the celestial dragons or at least that is what they are destined to do and there are certain people in the world who have the letter D in their name some of those people include Luffy law um, the dragon um, does Garp have a D mm -hmm. in his in his name and then we also found out that um, gold D Roger as well um, that was way back when, but, um, yeah, yeah, so that D means something. So we don't know where it came from. We don't really know its meaning, but we just know that is a threat to the celestial dragons and law revealing that he also has D in his name to Doflamingo definitely peaked, uh, Doflamingo's, uh, brain a little bit because now he's like, what's going on? So that's the one thing I wanted to highlight. So of course, put your thoughts in the comments on the Will of D without spoiling if you've already seen this because I know there are plenty of episodes left to watch. Still got over 200 and something to go but uh, to catch up, but uh, it's really interesting. I really can't wait till we actually get more into the Will of D because that's definitely sp starting to pique my interest. And the one other thing that I wanted to also uh, point out was um, 
also just particularly about One Piece. But what I'll do is I'll talk more about just the idea of One Piece after the next episode. So let's hop into the next one here. This will be the last one for today's reaction. So without further ado, let's hop to next episode. Let's go. Right back into the battle, just as we expected it to be. What makes him so interesting, too, is that a lot of his strings, you can't really physically see them un unless the actual animation shows that he's, like, in there. Because remember in the beginning, like, he was be doing those moves and no one could see what the uh, where the string was coming from. Mm -hmm. he, it made it look like he was controlling them with just his hands. Now, I'm looking over there because I don't know if it's just me, but was that counter shock supposed to do that weird effect? I might be going crazy here, Gaul. <laughs> If that if that's true, then that's pretty cool, I guess. But those, the screen's doing this weird flashing. I don't know if that was part of the uh, counter shock move here, but we'll just let it rock. <laughs> the amount of power difference and from the last island to now is actually kind of crazy. Horty was not bad, but Doflamingo's on another level, way beyond Caesar too. And I love how this battle's really featuring Law versus Doflamingo. Like, it's not even Luffy yet. That's what's dope. Oh. Damn, Bellamy's getting pummeled right now, y'all. It's just impressive that he's still able to control these these two uh, people without without him being distracted from the fight with um with Law. It's wild. Wow. Wow. This is actually really sad. Damn. There's no way Luffy's gonna do that, though. Yeah. My cat is, uh, being a little antsy all of a sudden. <laughs> I feel, though, for uh, Bellamy, because, um... At this point, he's been lied to, and he's just... He has nothing to live for. And now he's in this position where he can't even help himself. He's watching Luffy, who beat the crap out of him before. And he's getting beat up again, trying to fight Doflamingo. It just sucks. But I, I, I mean, if I was put in that position, I'd be just like Luffy. I'm not going to just go and kill Bellamy. Like, that's that doesn't make sense. We're also going to see how this battle is going to turn out. Because right now, I don't even know how Zoro's going to win. Literally, Zoro's throwing everything that, um, everything at Pika, and, like, nothing's really working. Attack on Titan. <laughs> I don't know why I think of Attack on Titan. Yeah. <laughs> Is that how Pika laughs, for real? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yo. Uh... <laughs> oh, man. I love Zoro's confidence, too. Yo, Zoro's just a badass. Like, it's just what it is. And this battle's interesting to me because it's like... How is Luffy gonna catch up to Doflamingo? Be Law's gonna have to do something. Wow. That's that's an interesting line. There are so many ways to get rid of an enemy you're unmatched for. Wow. Wow, that was powerful actually. I like that line. I like that line a lot. There were still some questions on left in that flashback, so I was actually hoping that they got back to it, so I'm glad they're showing us this. Ooh. Is he about to break his arm? Because that string does not... Oh, he's about to cut his arm off? Is that what's going to happen? Oh, yeah. Oh. That had to hurt. Oh, snap! Oh, he actually cut his arm off? What? <laughs> Surprise. Whoa! 
I did not think that was gonna happen. The way he fell down, I d whoa, wow, wow, oh snap, that was unexpected from this anime because it has not. It, yo, I mean we see some gore and all that, but we haven't seen anything like this. Wow. I'm still shook about the arm thing. So Luffy has this technique where he can like unleash the fire. I didn't pay attention to that part. Yeah, Red Hawk. Yeah. Wow. Wow, bro. This anime completely changed course. This is a huge turning point. This might be the turning point. Oh, I guess Luffy, um... It's gotta affect Doflamingo at this point, right? Doflamingo is the ultimate villain right now. Holy moly. I did not expect this. Damn. Sound like a rocket. Yeah, Luffy means business. The episode's about to be over too, isn't it? It's a good thing that uh, you guys will be getting this next reaction tomorrow. Um, wow, that was episode. Uh, what, what episode number was this? Episode seven hundred and eight. Um, holy moly, moly moly, um. My cat's been... I guess my cat's kind of hungry right now. Uh, his name is actually Kovu. Uh, we got him that name from Lion King 2. Um, so yeah, he's just kind of playing around here. So apologize for being a little bit distracting. He's a little antsy. That's because he's hungry right now. But yeah, you know, we, we love him. Isn't that right, buddy? <laughs> but yes. Um, Back to this episode. Holy moly, holy moly, moly, moly. This episode right here was the turning point for me for this anime because I did not expect that at all. The way that he had his leg, I was like, okay, he's going to try to cut his arm. But like the way, like, I didn't think that was going to happen because the way he was rolling onto like to, to the ground and then on top of that, this anime is weird when it comes to certain things. Like, there's gore, there's blood, whatever, but it's not as intense as other animes, right? Like, Ace's death was crazy because we didn't expect that. Like, Zoro with a nothing happened. That was crazy because we didn't expect that. This was another moment where I was just like, what the hell? This anime has never really... It's It hasn't gone to a point where you could be like, damn. I mean, it, let, me, let me rephrase that. It, there has been plenty of moment where you're like, damn. But, like, in terms of a moment like this, like, whoa. Like, I did not think that Doflamingo was going to cut this guy's arm off. That's crazy. Bro. That's wild. I'm still shook about that. Like, wow. That was that was incredible. Um, Just that whole, and it wasn't even just the cutting the arm part like that whole scene with doflamingo basically saying yo just because you're the will of d you got nothing like he really made law suffer and then to cut his arm off to make him suffer more wow that was a scene right there that was dope that that was like whew. and i've said this again doflamingo has to be the most hated character right now in one piece based on what i have watched there's 200 plus more episodes to go. Um, so, I don't know what's going to happen. But I think right now, this might be the turning point. Because I think things are just going to get more and more intense as we go along. Not only in this arc, but the arcs to come. Um, I'm noticing that this anime is starting to take a little bit more of a serious vibe as well. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm definitely noticing that. Um... You guys definitely let me know if you feel the same way because uh, where we started in the beginning of One Piece and where we are right now, it's, it's like um, two completely different. Th I mean, the vibes are completely different right now. Just 
wow it's, it's it's definitely it's definitely going into a more intense darker vibe than usual and uh, i'm kind of liking it so uh yeah i don't i don't know what's going to happen now because i mean i guess maybe that because law has the op op fruit maybe he can operate on himself but he can't grow his arm back like his arm is basically is done like is he not going to have an arm for the for the remainder of who knows how long like i'm very curious i'm wondering if he's gonna take his arm and just like attach it back like that'll be that'll be really badass like if he did that actually that'll be crazy that'll be really really crazy um that'll be really cool and uh luffy yeah he means business 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 he's getting more angry more angry and uh he's really he's really about that that work right now he wants to he wants to give doflamingo the work so that's something to look forward to. So I can't wait to see what Luffy's going to do. So uh, that's pretty much, uh, yeah, episode 708 of One Piece. Man, that was, that was incredible. So um, before I really go, though, I will say, and I, I wanted to comment on this before, but I'm going to repeat this. I definitely noticed the weird little pacing things that everybody keeps talking about. And I know everyone keeps talking about this concept of watching One Piece. I'm not going to do that. I'm enjoying One Piece the way it is. Maybe if one, down the road, I'm probably most likely going to rewatch this. Not anytime soon, but just on my own time, just for memory's sake. But uh, I'll probably check out One Piece just because, you know, I just want to see how it goes more than anything. But, um, you know, there's little scenes here where they'll be talking and they kind of make it over dramatic by having this long pause and then wait a couple seconds and they go to the next scene. Like, I noticed those little things, but once again, because I'm binging, it doesn't really bother me. But maybe if you've read the manga and uh, you're watching it, you're just like, come on, come on. So I get it. But um, it was just something that I just noticed, particularly with this episode. But um, I know there's a lot of people who feel very strongly about this but um if you want to talk about that in the comments feel free but if you're going to try to convince me to watch one piece i'm not doing it i'm already letting you guys know like i'm okay with what i'm watching right now um so i just wanted to say that but uh yeah i'm gonna end the reaction here uh don't worry guys the next set of episodes will be dropping either later or tomorrow I'm just keeping uh, each video at two episodes a pop just to make it easier on the the uploading, the bandwidth, all that fun. So uh, without further ado, as always, don't let anybody ever tell you who you can or cannot be. And always be yourself, of course, right? And don't forget, I meant to say this at the end. But uh, definitely go subscribe to the channel. Make sure you know when you're getting the uh, notifications. If you're on Patreon, you already know you're going to get the notifications when the next video drops. So until the next time, I love y'all. Peace out.